serious Joe just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome back. We are on a waffling featuring Malfoy, Luke Martin, and Joe Weller. Now, I'm going to begin this episode by saying, boys, UFOs and aliens wait. are 100 percent real. Wait, 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 wait! You haven't mentioned. I know. Aliens. I haven't said it at all. I purposely haven't said it, and it's because on this TV show that I've been filming, you saw an alien. No. Guys, <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so on this TV show I've been filming, uh, there was an individual who will 100 percent have been telling the truth because of who he is. No, 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 I'm being serious. And mm. he, Wait, right? Why? What makes someone oh, no, what, like, what was he saying? incapable oh, no, what, of lying? Well, when you've been in fucking government, mate. Oh, in the fucking government? <laughs> 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 what, Basically, what are you saying? Mate, in the government, there are certain things, right, that you find out that us normal people never know. And that is, that is fact. But he decides to tell Joe Weller and he <laughs> used- <laughs> No, sworn to a life of secrecy, but on a TV show of all the cameras and gobby mouth weller. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, mate, they're all real. No, listen, listen, lad, he doesn't work there anymore. Looney. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Wait, I'm sorry. Looney. <laughs> he goes. Well, let me go. Let me guess. He goes, mate. Honestly, like, I can't tell anyone. But I'm but, gonna tell. But you. I'm gonna tell <laughs> you. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> well, it was kind of how it went, but no, no, no. Basically, it was just more of a, a matter of he doesn't work there anymore. Oh, so it's okay. So he's not sworn to secrecy. I don't think that's how it works. I don't know. Mate, I don't think it's how it works. If Trump suddenly is like, oh, I'm not president anymore, he's not going to go tweeting all the secrets because he's sworn into a life of secrecy. Well, it was more of the fact that, like, I really believed him. <laughs> no, he, he said, look, the person that told him that worked in... <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't even come from him. Look, no, trust me, my mates. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, the fact of the matter was they were in like a meeting, and he goes, he asks the guy I met on the TV show asks this guy who <laughs> who works in maze. No, no. Let me know. This is what another thing that actually the waffling mafia say. They go, Joe and Luke. Now Theo and Luke actually attack Joe too much oh. and don't give him the time of day to speak. <laughs> go ahead. So I'm I'm actually being serious. They he was he was <laughs> he was told or shown these files by this guy, and the guy was like, "I can't say whether aliens are real or not, but here are some cases of unexplainable flying objects. Have a look." And that's all he said. He didn't say anything more to me you- about it, but he was saying. There are, there are, yeah, there are some, a lot of things that we just don't know and are never told. No, I won't, I won't doubt that. I will not doubt that. That's hundred percent sure. And actually, it's been showcased in the last few weeks with the whole FBI releasing the documents. Yeah, yeah. well, they released those videos, yeah. didn't they? But which the, I think just, we touched on. Like what? Where he got that information from? Yeah. Do you know what type of guy this was? Was he higher up in the yeah, government? In, in the government, in that sort of sector. Because do you agree that a lot of the times the people in power, aka Boris Trump don't actually get trusted with the information to be told, so they are in the dark as well. Potentially. But the, this, this, this guy has been in charge of some very high up sort of things in government. Like, I'm not a politician. I don't know all the ins and outs, but I just wanted to start this episode by saying, guys, so, it's real. Yeah. Aliens and UFOs are real. So the, I, I, that's all I can so say. So the unnamed source who told you on this TV show, arguably probably going to be the only politician on the same TV show as Joe. Wait, what? You just said you can't say who your source is. No, I can, but the show I can't announce who's on the TV show. Oh, okay, okay. Show we have. Out. I was going to say when the show comes out, and there's yeah, only when, one politician on the show. It's when the be him. when the show comes out, I will on the show. We're going to go and start filming for real uh, next week. I will make a point of having the conversation whilst uh, whilst we're recording. Maddest thing is, yeah, you probably they'll never air it. Why do you reckon? Oh, they're not do allowed. You know what I mean? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I'll just keep saying it every time the cameras are rolling. Why, why was Joe not in this show? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but um, yeah, obviously that's what I've been doing this week. Training to begin this TV show. 
that obviously classic we can't reveal too much about. It's not SAS Who Dares Wins. Yeah, that's all the comments. A lot of people were saying that. All the comments were like, you boys are so stupid. We know it's SAS so Who stupid. Dares Wins. Like, just, just tell us. At the end of the day, no. Um, but I can ask one question. Go on. Do you think you're going to enjoy it? Or from the training, do you think you're going to hate it? I think it's going to be the most horrible, soul-destroying challenge that will change my life that I could ever do. Oh, I'll be dead. I, I think it is going to be probably maybe the worst three weeks of your life, but pe perhaps the most rewarding three weeks oh, of your 100%. life. Oh, 100% well. exactly. rewarding. And as well, obviously, we met the cast... That are going to be like. In the <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to start off, wait. on the, I've got an email. Wait, 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 wait what do you mean? Well, I can't, wait, 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 wait. What? So before I go on to say what I was about to say about the cast, huh? you've got an email. I just, yeah, should I just read the email out? Okay, go on, go on. Okay, hey Joe, Theo, and Larry. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> yeah, oh, bit of a sticky one here. <laughs> here he goes. <laughs> You're talking like me. So I've been with my boyfriend for a little while now, and things seem okay. Yeah? However, I'm currently on holiday and have met this new boy. We get on very well. My friend and I both think he's cute, and she keeps making banter, saying we make a great couple. I've been texting him a little bit, and we get on really well. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Maybe too well. What do I do? Do I cut it off with my boyfriend, or do I see where this goes? P.S. I may have said me and my boyfriend are sort of not great. Oh, what like is in there on like a yeah. rocky patch? So what 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 yeah, advice are you giving? Yeah, I thought it was a really good email. What advice are you giving to to this young girl? She go? <laughs> uh, um, I would assume it's a girl. It is a girl, yeah. Larry. So what I'd say <laughs> is, uh, I've basically on this TV show oh. met everyone, and it's been a great experience so far. Um, we've done a lot of training. Everyone gets along, and. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. I've met no one. I'm not. It's not someone on the show that, that I'm going out with that I don't fancy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I don't whoa, know. Whoa, wait, yeah. wait, wait, no, I, you've I, crumbled I, me here because I've I don't. I've not said anything. I've just read an email. No one's mentioned any TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Look, right. Just need some advice for this young lady. No, no, no. I don't. I, I for one... Right, I've been attacked in the past few episodes, what? and I don't, I don't, I don't genuinely believe that this is sort of like the the okay thing to discuss on waffling. No, I know. No, I'm gonna be deadly serious. So what I'm gonna say <laughs> to this particular individual is, if she's feeling like she's attracted to this new guy on holiday, even though they are on holiday, the fact that she feels like that, and she's not 100 percent with the boyfriend, I don't think then it's it should be it's right. For her to sort of continue with the boyfriend if she's not 100%. So should she like sort of cut it off with her boyfriend and then be allowed to pursue it on the holiday? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the mature thing to Definitely do. Definitely don't do anything while you're with the boyfriend. You know, no flirting or... No, but okay, well, so, but, but while they're on holiday... Well, so, she, so, she... so she should break up with the boyfriend on text or on FaceTime peak. and then go, and he go ahead and get with this new guy on holiday. Well... You know, too right. <laughs> no, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. She says she's been having banter and yeah. stuff like that. They've been texting a little while, um, just normal texting, nothing of the sort. She says, what do I do? Yeah. She's got to cut it. She got, she's, her heart's obviously not in the right place, and her boyfriend clearly isn't the one, and maybe she should end Look, it. there's someone I fancy on the show. <laughs> <laughs> You had to get it off. <laughs> Fuck it. Do you know? Just, no, be like, like, no, who cares? No, no, no. At the end of the day. Who cares? Honestly. This is our space. This, this is, is our, our space. space. To, this is, we're all here right now. You are friends. Us here. This is a safe place to be honest and open. Yep. And I think at the end of the day, that's all I'm doing. I'm not being out of order. Nope. Um, but I will say, yeah, there is someone that I fancy out of the group that I'm doing this TV show with. So we're away for three for three weeks, spending a lot of time together, and and you know, <laughs> it, yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. But at the end of the day, the situation that this girl has just mentioned, very, very similar. I would never like to uh, be like. Imagine you have you ever been the boy, say where there's a girlfriend that's got a boyfriend, a, a homewrecker, a homewrecker, 
Have you ever been that individual? Because I, I don't no. think I'd ever be comfortable with doing that. And I don't think that's at all the done thing. So don't do that. But if you are two single individuals that do fancy each other a lot, which, which by, by any chance, this female will be a single individual soon. Yeah, but yeah. does it make you a home wrecker if you've not done anything, but you she's broken up with you? Because she fancied this other boy that she had been talking to, but Who, nothing like promiscuous or in anything. In this scenario, if this person she met on holiday, like they have a thing, who's more in the wrong, her or him? Mate, I don't. Wait, think, wait, 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 is, no, is that not the case? What do you mean? So, for example, say obviously she is. I assume if, she's going to break up. No, no, I know. I know what you're saying. You if, you're, yeah. if you're in a relationship and your girlfriend cheats on you with a boy. It, there's no way you can blame that geezer. Like your relationship is between you and your girlfriend, not yeah. not this boy. Like that, that that's life. Like your your beef has to be of her. Like I know, understandably, you'd be angry with whoever because that's yeah. So like if if you if you're in a relationship with someone, you have almost a responsibility. Now you you have a responsibility to respect that individual. Whether you're in the honeymoon period, whether you're falling out of love, you need to take the the responsibility and do the right thing. That deep down you probably know is the case, even though it may be hard. So I think let's let's move on from that one now. Yeah, no, that's fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, this is going to be our final waffling episode yeah, of, of August um, because obviously I'm going away to film this TV show for three weeks. So I won't be able to film. Um, but, yeah. Clips? Clips. Oh, yeah, I will just say we are we have started a waffling clips channel, which is basically going to be the, the best, funniest highlights Uh uploaded as individual clips so almost every you, day as well yeah almost every day pretty much so if you don't have time to always watch the whole thing which is good like when you can just watch the whole thing it's lovely we see a lot of you doing it with your girlfriends and boyfriends like i get sent a lot of images no mate i do right so they send images <laughs> well, 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 let me where, just stress like we do as a collective on the waffle no, i get i get it sent in my private uh, my joe weller account oh. like oh yeah we're just sitting watching waffling in bed and I'm like, do you reckon it's planting the seed, mate? Do you reckon? You know how that bloke emailed in, like you guys turned me on. Yeah. Do you reckon we do that for couples? Yeah, I think, mate. I'm not even joking, right? If you're in a couple and you're sitting down in bed, all cozy, and you're listening to us boys right now, which I know some of you are, you're sat in bed with a rod on, right? <sighs> listening to us talk about these different things, it probably springs conversation between the person, the people watching. Yeah. So they're probably like, oh, yeah, so Theo likes it up the arse. Do you, Maybe. Samson? And then, you know what I mean? And then and then it may create some sort so, of atmosphere of sex. I'd, I'd love to know how many, like, sexual uh, sort of, like, how many of the we've mafia? influenced, yeah. if that makes sense. How many people have gone, oh, yeah, I heard this thing on Waffling. We should try how it. How many Mafia members have we got laid? We're actually the serious wingmen. You guys owe us. <laughs> In fact, you can repay that by the club. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now, yeah, basically, <laughs> let us know firstly, yeah. have we influenced or helped you in any way understand yourself and your partner better? That's what I'd like to know. But secondly, yeah, the Waffling Mafia Club, oh, buzzing. So good. We, so we, good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's that when we come back after I filmed my TV show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, in September is when we're aiming to get that out. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be, yeah, we'll keep you posted. Anyways, now, boys, just to interrupt quickly, have you ever. Cut your bollocks while shaving your lower region. I, I have to admit, I have, and it genuinely scarred me. Mate. Scarred me for life. I've never, Same. since that moment, I've never put a razor on my balls. It's always like hovering. Wait, what about above. your bum? I've done that before, but I've never cut it. You shave your ass. I have done. In you the do past. it, but you don't anymore. I just, it's been a while. Okay. I've, I've let the bush grow. Well, the reason why I say. It's because today's episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Obviously, they've redesigned the bollock cutting technology. <laughs> all right. And obviously, they sent us two of their lawnmower 3.0s, which you boys used. Yep. So come on, give me some feedback. What was it like? What was it like? Have you ever used like a regular shaver mate, down there? Instant. I oh, mean, honestly, terrifying. it cuts, cuts it. It. It, it, it. But it doesn't just <gasps> cut it. It gives you like PTSD. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally, yeah, it does. I personally, this is why I rarely cut my bollocks, and yeah. I do have a jungle. Now we're not going to say that because that's, that's a bit vulgar. But <laughs> so, boys, I tried it with a regular one back in the day. Obviously, scarred me. The lawnmower comes through, right? <laughs> and I tried it. I was very careful, but I, I didn't even need to be. I then actively tried to cut myself with it. Not, not my, <laughs> oh, not my balls. Say. 
no, sick and twisted no, no. freak. Because I was like, I was like, it actually doesn't cut me. So I was like, fuck it, I'll give it a go. If it cuts me, it's my fault. So you could be quite aggressive with it. I tried to cut myself and I couldn't. Wow. I, 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 oh, well, we, do not, we definitely don't recommend yeah, doing yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, don't, don't try and cut yourself with it. I mean, I personally don't do that. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but what do you do, Malfoy? I use it in the shower because it's waterproof and a lot cleaner. And not only that, the LED light is sick. Because well, you can see you can right see. in the crevices. You actually can, because normally when you're standing in the shower, you're like blocking the ceiling light. So the wow. LED light's very useful. Overall, it comes with a charging stand. You can charge it via USB. Um, and with us and our code of Wafflin20, you can get 20% off yours, right? Plus free shipping. So go to manscaped.com and use code Wafflin20 for 20% off. That is Wafflin20 for 20% off. So enjoy it. Now let's get back onto the show. Right, anyway, so this is, I bashed my ex's nudes. Hey up, boys. Hope it's going well. So I was with this girl for eight months, about two years ago. Hmm. The relationship <laughs> ended because I found out she was cheating on me whilst I was at work. Oh. However, when I think about it now, I do not get angry about it. I don't feel anything towards it. My question is, sometimes I feel myself still masturbating over her nudes she sent me when we were dating. Do you think this means I miss her? Or have come to... What are you doing with that wand? <laughs> <laughs> um, or have... Wait, wait, do you think I, I miss her? Or have come to terms with it and my feelings are just purely sexual? I throw a spanner in the works. Go on then. Could he subconsciously sort of get off on the fact that she cheated on him? And like, he's like the Did other she? guy, like... <laughs> Could he? I don't Could know. He? I don't know. Like, he's sort of like getting off the fact that she's a bad girl. She's no, no, naughty. I do feel you. I, I do feel you in terms of like the naughtiness. As in... Like she broke I my I heart, crushed I, me, I, mocked I, me, made me look stupid. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> No, yeah, I think I think real, my point. realistically, I understand what you're saying, but I think he's directing it purely at just her nudes. She's fit. She's still fit. Now, is I don't know because do you have nudes? Do you delete nudes of pr for, uh, previous partners or just nudes you've been sent? Do you ever go through and delete them? Do you get sent nudes? <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you do? Do you? I don't have any. Previous partner nudes. Oh yeah, you don't have a previous partner. Okay, you. I, I when I broke up with Ruth for uh, however long, I I kept them all. Yeah. You kept them all. Is that because you had faith you get back? Okay, together? so so now, do you have any nudes of any other girl no, on no, your no, phone? No, not now. Are you just saying that because she might be watching? No, 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 no. I genuinely don't because <laughs> I've only ever been <laughs> sent them by my yeah girlfriends. Fair and, enough. Well, yeah, no, I got rid of it. So, you did, so all your previous girlfriends' nudes you just deleted. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so, so him, mate. I, uh, I personally, yeah, I don't actively delete anything. So anything I get sent, anything, any photo that I've ever had, it's on my phone. Have you, but have you <laughs> the ever? The case builds. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever gone back to? Have I ever masturbated over the previous ones? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you lying? Wait, what? Of course you definitely you have. have. You're 100% you have. If you fail to find what stimulates you online, you will resort to your photos. No, and I think I think the photos would actually do more for him because he can he there. can be in that real life scenario. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Look, how far back do they go? The answer is no. But this is the other thing. Let me do the maths. So this is the other thing. I'm just going to add to that. That is a bit more of a uh, of a serious spin on it. Obviously, when people are like younger and have girlfriends, delete them. They have new they and you exchange nudes. Say if you've had the same phone and you go from being like okay when you were a uh, year eleven. Now what? How old are you when 15, you're 15, 16? Yeah, fifteen, sixteen. And you're with that same partner because people have done this, right? Yes, they have. People have, are still together at age 21. My like high school sweetheart. Yeah, but you've now you've got phone uh, photos of your partner when they were underage. So is that what fucked? I will say is the viewing of explicit images of children under the age of 16 is illegal. Exactly. The viewing. Uh, so even just seeing it, if you don't report it, you are committing a under crime. The, under the age of 18. 
I believe it is for images. I believe, yeah, I think it's under 18. the... It's 18. You are, if you don't report Fucking it... Hell, you don't know the law, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Going to the 17 folder and deleting it. But yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, as in there are people that have been together since kiddies and they probably exchanged like, nudes or whatever. Like, are they going to actively delete them? Because is that is that illegal? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, that is yeah. so like... Is that, is that or, one or, of them which on, is on the fence or is it... On it, paper, it is breaking the law, but you have to think like... If, it's if, one of those dodgy things, isn't it? A lot of the times where... as well, though, they probably don't even realise they're still on the phone. Yeah, in it, like I, I don't think something like that would like. I personally wouldn't categorise someone who is has is in this situation as a pedo. Do you know what no, I mean? No, but technically they technically are. Yeah, no, no, on they paper they are. are. Yeah, I don't like. What do you guys think about that? And what it's is the so... law against it? But I mean, yeah, like overall, that is messed up. But back on the thing of actual, you know, having photos of previous people on your phone how would you feel if your girlfriend had like knob pics well, like me i know <laughs> someone who recent huh <laughs> yeah like, so, like so say it's me what? say they've got loads of knob pics of me what, what are you doing well, they're not gonna have pics of you they might not. do no they're not no, some of the viewers may... what no no no, no, no I wouldn't have oh said... because when you send them to people on snapchat they screenshot them I don't actually do that. No, I'm trying to like make but a funny say, joke about so myself and it's not working. No, I think... Uh, but, but overall, yeah, people do have... How would you feel about your girlfriend having nudes of previous that partners on so her phone? That would be so uncomfortable. Like, why have you not deleted them? Would you? Well, yeah. But she's with you. Yeah, but why has she still got someone else's cock on her phone? Yeah, yeah banter, innit? Switch it up every it's now and then. not banter. So like, you would banter. not be happy with You that. would hate it. Because it'd be bigger. <laughs> Get him involved. No, I'm joking. I, uh, I know someone whose girlfriend came round... After they broke up, said, "Can you please delete them?" Yeah, which I think is no, a perfectly, absolutely fine. perfectly fine. Yeah, absolutely fine. Yeah, I, if someone has said, yeah. "Can you get rid of them? Get rid of them." Because you may, don't be in, a weirdo. in the in midst of a breakup, you may not actually be thinking about stuff that is on your phone. So it's yeah. important to actually do do that. Otherwise, it could come back. Thinking about it, like yeah, like there are people out there that have my nudes. <sighs> a lot of people actually. We've got them. You've got them. But as in, like, Facebook. there are people as in, like, yeah, like, ex-partners that just have me naked. And yeah, vice wait, versa. On Facebook, I swear there's one of you. Yeah. No, he, I, del- I deleted it. He put it up. I mean, no, it was just... <laughs> fucking weird. It was, it was just in the Santee folder. Liked by Lindsay Baker. He took a... I was just, like, asleep or just, like... You no, were not. No, but I was in my towel and you just, like, <laughs> secretly took a photo of my <laughs> knob. Under the towel. No, it wasn't Joe. No, there's one of there's one of Cohen on there. Who's that? He did it with all of them. <laughs> yeah, why are you <laughs> taking pictures of everyone? Don't, don't throw this back on me. And he was asleep as well. Huh? Cohen was asleep no, and you he, took a photo of no, his naked body. It, no, Cohen, Cohen was asleep. What? I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> Next question. Why have you still got your wand? It's, it's quite comforting to have something also, to hold. Wait, I do want to say on the top. <laughs> On the, shoving it. Right, on, on the topic of uh, <laughs> nudes, obviously, yeah. like one of the big things is if you break up with someone in a nasty way and you've got their oh, revenge images, porn. revenge porn. Like, yeah, that will get you illegal. put in prison. Yeah, yeah. that is illegal. Oh, I know an individual that did that, put it on Facebook no. of her ex, of his ex, jail. Really? Jail. Serious stuff. That's a sick, that's so a sick you've thing all got do. my knob on your phone, yeah? Be oh. careful. Right? Because if I... You literally sent it to us saying, boys, boys, look, <laughs> look what I did. Look at my cog. It looks oh, quite good in this. And let me show you all your girlfriends. Guys, look what mistake I made when I printed off all these photos. <laughs> look how big it is. Sorry. <laughs> so anyways, I think overall, uh, is it weird, this thing? I think, oh, we've spoken about it. We're going to go on to the next question. <laughs> anyways, let's go. Yeah. Right. Bedroom noises are ruining it. Ruining it is the tagline for this. Now this is gonna have a funny story because I know why he's added this. Let me quickly read it out and then uh, you know. Um, well, we'll discuss it and then I'll then I'll tell the story. You know. Yeah. <laughs> me and this guy have been sleeping together. I moan, but he almost screams. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm the best. The I- house is rocking. <laughs> Here comes the earthquake. So, I appreciate that he enjoys himself, but this guy was fucking yelling <laughs> to the way to the point that I I thought he was hurt, <laughs> and that wasn't even when he came, but when he did come, oh my god! 
<laughs> he's so fucking loud that it always puts me off and turns me off immediately. Oh Every time God. we have sex, he does it. I want to be able to come without being screamed at. <laughs> Um, how do I tell him to shut the fuck up <laughs> without way. hurting his feelings? Because he's one of the best shags I've ever had. Jesus. He's written that Mate, really that well. That is so perfectly written. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, where do we start? Screaming. But at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Males make noises. Males do make noises. Uh, <laughs> I personally... Oh, it's horrific. <laughs> You've never heard it. I've been described yet, and I don't want to think. Okay, about so it. Luke, what would you? How would you describe me? Wait, right? No, well, let, let's tell the story. So, no, we weren't shagging. Wait, yeah, no, 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 no. No one said that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you toss. No one was thinking you, that, guys. Right. Anyways, yeah. What? So we we had had a, a big night out. Come back to Wellers for the after party. You know, there were some some girls here. It got it got really late. It was like four a.m. They went That's up. It. They went upstairs. I was just on the sofa on my own. Up at four a.m. So you know, I was just laying there on my phone, and all of a sudden I hear like a. Go on, do it. Go on, do it, mate. Go on. No, I wouldn't. No, do no, that. no. That wasn't you. She started. She did. She started. Wait, wait. Just oh, to confirm, is this Kylie Jenner? Yeah. So <laughs> this, yeah, yeah. Kylie Jenner. <laughs> no, bro. So I could hear her making, uh, you know, the noises yeah. that you. <laughs> That you expect to hear. God, Peter, what were they like, lad? What was she making? No, was, she was like... Oh. No, louder. It was like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was more like that. That, that was quite accurate. Should, really? Should, yeah. Turn me on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, it's coming. So, I'm laying, I'm laying on the sofa and I'm thinking... <laughs> we just did fancy. Thinking, I, you know, it's not great. I don't really want to hear that, but I can put up with it. Then... Then he moans. So all of a sudden, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I moan. All I hear is Joe just like, oh. <laughs> no, it's, like, wait, it's, fuck like, this. it's not even like a, oh. It's like a, it's like, oh. Do it again one more, one more time. Oh. <laughs> no. No, that is how you sounded. Do it, I, do it, do it, I, do it. Wait, 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 ready? <laughs> no, 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 just like, it's just a, you know, it's like a release. <laughs> No, wait, I mean, I can't do it perfectly. I need to be in the moment. Okay, ready? I'll get you in the moment. No, you Close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get that wand anywhere near me, mate. Um, no, yeah, it's just quite an aggressive, like. No, it's not aggressive. It is not aggressive. Is it not? In your head, no. it, 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 she made you her bitch. I could hear it. <laughs> oh, here we go. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, first time it was. It, it was like, it was how how the first time I did it, that's how it sounded. No, it wasn't like, oh, it was it was low. <laughs> no, it wasn't high pitch. It was low pitch. No, it wasn't. It wasn't like, oh. <laughs> At the end of the day, right, boys do make noises. Yep. Do you make noises? Uh, not really. Really? Do you not have like a release of no, fucking... I, I probably, no, I do, <clears throat> I do, but very rarely. I don't really like it. No, oh, but, I don't like... So you suppress it? No, 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 I just don't really do it. Sometimes I'll be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you never go like, oh fuck? I do that a lot. No, sometimes I say, oh fuck. No, I have class. no. I, yeah, sometimes when you finish, you're like, oh, and you're like all crippled down. No, but you know, like when, when it's like, no, I'm just being honest and open here. It just feels so great. I, I just be honest and open in, in saying that. Look, when I am fully in the moment, I do come out with certain grunts <laughs> like a, and phrases. Well, so that is all. Give me some more phrases. I, what do you do? I'd say I'm the same as Theo in the sense where, like, sometimes there is one way, like, you can't hold it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, I personally, yeah, I would actively try and avoid yeah. doing it because I find them so cringy. I had a girl. Wait, no, wait, hang on a sec. Who, wait, you saying you don't like a female doing it? I also don't like the female doing oh, it. That's interesting. It. So, so, no, but no, you know when you can love tell it. that a girl is doing it on purpose? Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, I know what you now mean. That but is oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no one will ever say, oh, baby. There's too much thought behind it. Uh, you've thought of what you're saying, and you're lying. You're not a porn star. So from that. Wait, have you had someone not say? Not going to say this on camera. Why? Uh, Don't say the name, obviously. Yeah, so, a hey, human. Oh, they'll just know. I like it. You know, no, I like it. No, I like. I, I mean, I love when you can tell you're a pleasure in a girl, but I think. For that like when you know it's pure and it's not like they're putting because when the, the second it's like you feel like they're doing it to try and impress you 
autism to make you feel good about yourself like you're doing a good job can't hold it in. that's 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 dead when it's like it yeah 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 when and then you can it's only you can tell when it's natural like any geezer realistically is going to tell when it's put on it's i mean you would like have thought crescendo crescendo yeah but it's almost you feel it burst out of them oh no nah, it's I'm, uh, yeah this is probably turning some couples on right now do you reckon is this oh, turning yeah. anyone on right now huh? <laughs> but i i just find there's something about it i'm just yeah, also, so like, like, obviously, like, I still live at home as well. So when I got my parents in the next room and there's someone in the bed making noises, it's yeah, you like, got, you got to, and obviously, when you obviously stop. when you like shake the house and stuff, you got to be careful. <laughs> okay, so this is another thing. <laughs> <laughs> so this property on that Wait, night, on that particular night, it was the house was not rocking. The house was moving. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you're, you're genuinely I, convinced that the house was moving. So, so went, Luke downstairs listening to this ordeal was scared for his life because the house was shaking or was he just sat in, in silence? Sat in, mate. Mm. Sat in. Look, I left. I called a taxi and left the house straight away. As it soon was, as, as because soon as he was scared him. it was all going to come crumbling down. <laughs> yeah, rocking the house. The house was moving. It wasn't. Do you know what's happening? Do you know genuinely what's happening? Go on, what? You're shaking the bed. Yeah, the bed moves. Oh, yeah. I trust that that was no, moving. No, that was probably, that was probably <laughs> it. That yeah, was you're probably moving it. the bed. And you're like, in your head you're like, fucking house is going, boy. But the, 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 the Mirror on the wall, the, p- <laughs> the pictures on the wall. Oh, because the bed. No, they were. Wait, no, they the were be- not. No, moving. no, 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 no. They were clanging. The bed. No, they were clanging. Yeah. Like, the bed was probably hitting the wall. Like two no, massive no, objects. He's got like he's got pictures Wait, on the opposite see, side. Yeah, you can see them all. They were not moving. Oh, how do you know? Oh, why are you now? Yeah. Why are you does this guy know? I love no, playing. Why are you now sticking up for him? You've been rinsing him. I'm not sticking up for him, but I am saying that quite possibly the. The very fragile paintings could have been wobbling yeah. because you're hitting the and bed you against moving, the wall. Look, you're moving, the house, though. Yeah, no, you're, mo- you're moving the wooden floorboards. No, you're not. No, 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 you're the no, structure no, of the house. Is no, that. it's not. <laughs> no, it is. No. I think it is. No. Right then. Well, whatever. Have We're you gonna... had any injuries during sex? Injuries during sex? Oh, yeah, no, of course I have. Come on. Go on, what? what? Oh, yeah, you have Pulled injuries. Pulled groin, hammy. Pulled groin. Wait, it was. So you're like... I've done it with an injury. You, Very scary. Wait, wait, normally you start crying on the football pitch when you get injured. <laughs> so did you, have you ever cried? That was one time. No, mate. Twice. Fuck off. It was twice. Mate, no. It was twice. On a serious level, bruv. Three times. All the time. <laughs> Maybe four. So do you, have you ever cried during sex? No. You have. You. Wait, have you cried? Huh? Joe has Why? cried during sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Because it was so amazing. No. Was it a sad cry? After Glastonbury. <laughs> Well, you had like a breakdown mid-sex. Well, I was on a fat fucking... Yeah, well, I remember your fat come down from all that rhino cat. No. No, no, a rhinoceros. Um, why did you start crying during sex? Really emotional. As in, was it was it a sad emotional? Was it like a relief? Was it a happy it was emotional? Like, mate, well, where my emotions through like being at Glastonbury and the different substances were just sending my brain just off the radar. My emotion... I was... I mean, I got back from Glastonbury and I was having like... Yeah, I remember you Panic saying attacks yeah. and all of that. So, yeah, I think my emotions were just all over the place. And obviously, sex, love making, very emotional and experience. Also, I think you more than anyone else are very into it. So it's like a big moment for you every how time. Did, how does she react? Do you know what I mean, though? Like some people, it's just sex. For you, it's yes, it's the best moment of my life. Yeah. And because that's another high, it's probably messed with your balances. Yeah, well, no, it was more of just like I I broke down in tears. Well, as as I spoke. To <laughs> Oh, oh, I thought it was mid. Awful, I bro. thought it was mid sex. It's awful. Wait, can you this sort is... of like play it out for us. No, mate. No, this is very. No, personal. but this is this is this is very personal. I've never told anyone this apart from you boys. No. And now I I actually trust you lot with so much. Like you're not going to tell anyone, are you? No. Anyways, that's, how, quite, but, that's quite a big thing to admit, though. No, but how oh, did she? How did she react to it? Whoa. Are you okay? She fully understood what what I was why. But also, yeah. It was like a, a physical release of an emotional problem. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but anyways. And what? Really quickly, guys, a quick word from our sponsor, Raycon. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Now, whether you are working out at the gym, whether you are working from home, you want what you are listening to to be what you're listening to. You don't want to be hearing your neighbours. You don't want to be hearing someone crying. You don't want to be hearing someone working out in the gym. 
everyone needs great wireless earbuds. Now, before you go out and shed hundreds on another pair, make sure you check out the wireless earbuds from Raycon. I myself have been using these for a couple of weeks now, and honestly, they're actually so, so sick. Not only are they half the price of other premium earbuds out there, they sound just as good, and arguably, I would say a little bit better. The bass on these are a lot better than other premium ones out there. Their newest ones, the Everyday E25 earbuds, are the best ones yet. They've got six hours of battery life, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, which I've already mentioned, which I'm a big fan of, and they're a more compact design that gives you a nice noise-isolating fit. Let me show you these bad boys look at those mate they actually fit in your ear so quickly look at that i actually look quite cool wearing these as well unlike a lot of those other wireless earbuds out there uh, there's no like dangly bits so you know how like normal other ones will like come down here this is seamless around the ear which is fantastic the company was founded by Ray J, well-known celebs like Mike Tyson, Snoop Dogg, all love these and so do I mate I've been listening to waffling on these which is absolutely fantastic and I want you guys to do the same. And you guys can get 15% off your order. All you got to do is head to buyraycon.com slash waffling. That is buyraycon.com slash waffling for 15% off your Raycon wireless earbuds. Buyraycon.com slash waffling and you get 15% off your order. Let's get back to the pod. So, next question. I think my boyfriend's dad fancies me. Hello, Theo. Luke and sexy Weller. It doesn't say it that. It does say it that. Does it does not say it. I think it does. It does. You I think I change things around that. On a level, on a level, how do you, wait, before I say this, how do you feel about whenever we get sent in things of like, <laughs> like from girls, it's always like, yeah. Luke and Theo, uh, no, Joe and Weller involved Joe or tagged. And, and then I'll go Joe and Weller, Luke, basically me and Luke get tagged or whatever, but you don't. And then, how do you feel and then I'll go that? on their profile and wonder who they're following. Yeah. Waffling. Joe. Luke. Yeah. Yeah, why is that? Why like if you follow Wafflin, you should follow all and the If you follow Luke, you should follow me. But is it like what like yeah, because I, I feel like obviously we're all equally attractive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why you cannot say that with a straight face? You think you are above everyone. Don't lie, come on. What? what? You, uh, you find yourself physically attractive more than most blokes. I find myself physically attractive. Yes. More than most blokes. Yes. No. Yeah. No, you <laughs> Look think. at you. Yes. No. No, but I think it's one of those weird things where <laughs> Very you're... Weird. I'm a weird. Like, is, no, 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 is, no. is it a defense mechanism? But well, like sometimes sometimes no. I think like, oh, like maybe it is just an act and he's not that confident. But then I'm like, no, I think he really does just... I think to the untrained so. eye, to, on the surface value, surface level, whatever... Joe Weller is a really confident, cocky guy, thinks he's like the bollocks, thinks he can get any girl. You're fucking accurate. No, no, no. <laughs> but like on a, on a level, I am, I have moments of very low confidence where I really don't believe in myself. I don't think I'm good at anything and I'm shit and butters and all of that. So yeah, on one, on, on one hand, you could say me being the like sex guru sort of act, is it sort of like, is it a defense mechanism? Is it because, you know, I, I actually don't have that confidence, but I'd like to, so I act like I have that confidence. No, I, I think you do have that confidence, but I think everyone just has their low points and self-doubt. I really honestly believe that you think you are the guru because, for example, last night when you had evidence to back up the guru-ness, but at the, the same time, I think everyone just has their low points and self-doubt. So, you, but yeah, yeah, but well, I don't know what you're so really meaning. Is it I'm I? So you, I honestly think you are. You believe that you are above everyone in terms of looks. <laughs> like you have, you believe in yourself. You are like the guru. Okay, that's what I think you think. But you also have your moments of self doubt, which I think everyone has because they're human. Yeah. So but you say, but you say, not everyone has that moment where they think they're the greatest. I shit myself every time I go to have sex. <laughs> Is he like scared? But in the moment, you're this is the greatest moment on, of your life. But that like this that translates into everything you do, though. Yeah, it's like I I'm I'm pretty much scared of everything I do until you do, and it. then I and then I fucking smash it, and then I am class. Yeah, yeah, everything. Not everything. Not everything. But when I do, and then it's, it is weird because I yeah I. It's almost like I solve my self doubt with by. No, it's weird. It's weird because say if like I was I was going to have sex right now, 
I think with ev- with everyone as well, your heart rate would start going. You start getting a little bit like, oh shit. Especially with a new partner. Yeah, it's like, oh before. shit. But at the end of the day, I now just focus on enjoying it. And I end up having a better time, but, but how does that relate to my confidence around it? I don't, I don't know. Well, you 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 do a lot of the times overthink what's going to happen, don't you? You build up to this. This is the biggest moment, like football, yeah. boxing, yeah. And then when you're actually in it, it's not that bad. No, football and boxing, I, I bottle it most times. Not every time. Not, football, you're not as bad as you think. No, football, I'm class. <laughs> Go that far. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. I am very, I'm, I'm very like. Either I'm one end of the spectrum yeah. or I'm the other. Yeah. Either I am literally the most confident person in the room or I'm on the fucking floor. There's no like, oh, yeah, I'm just sort There's of There's no right. between. No, yeah. What would you describe that as? Sp- almost like I, pff, I'm, you, I almost have like I have two personalities. So I've been reading up on this uh, disorder, yeah. which is multiple personality disorder. Okay. Do you think there could be a chance you have that? Because... I thought it was higher, but apparently 1% of the population have it, and then someone else saying two and four people have it. So I don't know which one to believe. Yeah. But is there a chance you think you could have that? Uh, you, do, you do definitely get one side of Joe, another side of Joe, don't you? Isn't that more like bipolar? Like, I don't... I don't... Bipolar is more mood swings, is it not? Yeah. It is, yeah. isn't it? Whereas... I have a bit of that as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, because I can definitely... Yeah, like one on one minute or one day, I can literally feel like mm. I am the most dominant fucking... I will annihilate anyone at anything. That's my favourite, Joe. Yeah, that's what. That's the one that you guys feed off when we do our best episodes. Like I, I it's weird. Whenever I'm in a, in a room of people feeling like that, that energy translates to the room. Like when I'm with my family at dinner or whatever, everyone's buzzing. Like on when the TV I'm, when show I'm, as well. Yeah, on the TV show when when we're doing our thing, and I'm fucking like that. It's class, and I feel amazing like that. But when I'm in that mo, when in that mode of like actual like oh. Pips. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, I feel so shit. I, I literally feel like you guys are so superior to me when I'm when I'm feeling like that. I literally Ooh. feel like I'm. At, it's and it's so weird. It, it it feels uncontrollable, but I definitely have those that that mm. yeah those two. Is it is it as, is it as so to speak? Wake up as one, or does it change throughout the day? It, it, I definitely feel like it's impacted through my experience. I.e., if I'm in this house all day alone for like a few days straight. I'll probably start to slip into that. Ooh. But where I've just been filming this TV show all week, bantering. Surrounded by people. Surrounded by people. And, and as well, these are people. These are other celebrities. These are big personalities. Bantering with, with them, you know, and, and all of that. I feel fucking confident because it's almost like I've subconsciously proven to myself that I can actually be confident in front of people and do my thing and be <laughs> myself. Belong. Yeah. So... It's definitely impacted by my surroundings. Like, we've jumped straight into waffling today. I'm not nervous. I'm not like, oh, shit. Oh, well, you no. nervous beforehand by yourself in the morning or not? No. No, okay. But it's I know, in like the whole of today, I've been like, fine. It's one of those things, though, where, like, I would... We get, like, a lot of emails saying, like, oh, I'm not confident. Like, what should I do? How can I, like, get better at talking? It's like, well, talk. Like, you'll you'll just be more confident yeah, I, if I'd you s- learn to talk to people. But the only way you're going to learn is by doing it. I'd say, I'd say as well, look at your like what is your daily routine i.e like i've just said about when i'm in in the house all day alone by myself and doing that every day and expecting myself to start feeling confident well if i'm not changing anything about how i'm living and what i'm doing then i'm gonna probably feel the same just continue to feel the same whereas the second i've put myself in a situation and i was fucking nervous going into this like on you know yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i'd obviously i'd come come off the back of being in my house alone and and not really seeing anyone or any you know we've been in lockdown sort of thing and then i'm plonked in this freaking film set sort of vibe with a whole load of other celebrities none of them obviously know who i am so it's all about literally meeting people for the first time and yeah, you're nervous as hell. You're nervous I would as be hell. I'm so nervous. But I, I, from experience, I know if I talk to them, that's the first step. Have a conversation. I know if I get over that barrier, whether it goes good or bad, like it's a step. And I made a point of like that evening as well on the first night, staying down, having a drink with everyone, not going to my hotel yeah, room and just because be a lot key. of people, some of them, just sat in their hotel room. But you, you, you're going to feel more comfortable the sooner you're comfortable with the people that you're around. And, you know, we had conversations by the end of it, fucking howling, laughing, laughing. It was, it was amazing. Great and bonds as well. Yeah. And this is the thing Like I've noticed, obviously these celebrities, they've obviously been in 
environments where they've had to meet new people very regularly. Yeah. And it was almost like everyone there, I mean, okay, some people had a bit of nerves, but everyone there, you could tell the difference between how they were able to converse with new people compared compared to the average person. The average person is a lot more nervous. Oh. Exactly. Well, you're a YouTuber. You're yeah, still... but no, but I still, like, you throw me in a, a room by myself. Yeah. Oh, no. What do you mean? What, with someone else? or Just, like, in, in a group, the majority of the time, I'd probably be, like... Yeah, like, nervous and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, But, yeah, like, as in, you can see that, basically, they are ever that is evidence. They were seasoned. That, that be, yes, that, that talking, the more you talk to people, the more confident and easier you find to talk to people. Yeah. And as well, like, okay, so there's one person on the show that's my age, 24, and I, <laughs> and I, and I, and I, and I, and I yeah. is a random person. It's random. And I, I, uh, I haven't met someone who's, <laughs> who's my age with that same sort of like maturity out, like, uh, confidence, com confidence to express themselves to a group of people. A really confident female, your age, who plays a character. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, basically she, um, she, this person, <laughs> they, yeah. So, but sh what I'm saying is where she's had experience being on film sets, meeting new people, doing, like, performing on stage, yeah, doing yeah. all of that, that explains why she was so confident to just be like, boom, herself and be a weirdo and all of that. Yeah. Um, it's the same with YouTubers. If they go to film with a footballer yeah. or Mia Khalifa and you go in there really all nervous and quiet, yeah. that energy is going to radiate throughout the room and the filming environment and it's going to be really, really shit and awkward. Exactly. Whereas if you film with Mia Khalifa and you just don't care about her past and you're just really loud and bold and funny. Like you were. Like me. Like when you filmed Best with Mia Khalifa. I've ever done. That, exactly. That's what you were like and that's what I'm saying. But your experience taught me sort of probably subconsciously impacted that. you In that moment, your brain went... I need to, even though I'm not confident, I need to act like I'm confident yeah. and that will bring the vibes. And that is essentially what it is. You fake it till you make it's it. It's so true. Yeah. Literally. So true. Literally. That, that will work in any scenario. Like if you're, you know, you're speaking to a new group of girls or something, if you just take the, the reins and just yeah. talk and just be confident in yourself, even if you're not, mate, like you're making it. The key for me was when I did the intro in that video, I like shouted. It was like, like proper weirdo. Yeah. And then they get comfy because they know you're just a normal You heard human. them laugh. Yeah. And then the laughter makes you oh, easier. Like, yeah, basically. I thought that was quite cool. Anyways, we started that all with uh, an email, wasn't it? I can't even remember. I th was that? Did that start with, I think my boyfriend's dad fancies me? Yeah. Is that the question yeah. that, that actually answered. came from? I haven't asked it yet. So it was, hello, Theo, Luke and sexy Weller. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've been going out with my current boyfriend for the past nine months. But as of recently, his father has been acting slightly off. Acting slightly <laughs> How off. How old is she? <laughs> Don't know. When I'm at his house having dinner, he will play footsie with me. <laughs> <laughs> Your face. Oh, that's fucking rank. <laughs> like, he's a nonce. Wait, wait. Your dad's a fucking pedo, mate. That's rank. <laughs> he will text me to make sure I'm home safely. Get home, baby. Sleep tight. <laughs> Love stepdaddy. <laughs> and I've even caught him looking at my boobs. <laughs> Mate, yeah, that's your pedo. <laughs> he is good looking. Oh, there we go. He is good looking, so you might think he can get away with it. I don't really think much of it that's and I actually find it quite hot. But all my friends are telling me it's weird. Yes. What should I do? What, you're trying to say because he's good looking, he's allowed to be a fucking nonce? No. <laughs> what's wrong with you <laughs> mate what is wrong with you how can you think this is a good scenario yeah so it's, look you're, you're, you've got a boyfriend mate and your boyfriend's dad fucking fancies you cut it off so this is what I'm saying imagine the roles are reversed if I'm her but I'm a boy and my girlfriend's mum who's well fit keeps starts trying it on that is bad but if it's you, you're going to fucking love it. No. You are. Because this is an indication as well that she, I mean, if she is, if she, no, wait, okay, you can appreciate that he's hot without that indicating that you're not into your boyfriend. No, no, she said it's okay, like, she's he's hot. So she, said, she said, I actually find it quite hot. Okay. So, it, I mean, if she's getting turned on by it, then that one could indicate 
are you fully into your boyfriend? She's if either. by any other individual, you're sort of thinking, oh, I actually quite like this. I mean, fair enough, you appreciate they're hot, but if you're actually liking him flirting, then that is a bit dodgy. Um, overall, though... Is she into older men? Is she underage, firstly, is the question I'd ask. Is she legal? Because this could be a criminal matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be serious. So, yeah. And then secondly... Oh. What? Go on. Also, like, just like to the dad. <laughs> like, Because he's probably watching. Yeah, you are, you are watching, in fact. You have a son. You shouldn't be going after your son's girlfriends. You probably have a wife, maybe your own girlfriend. Maybe stick to people similar to your age rather than your son's girlfriend. <laughs> Fucking freak. <laughs> <laughs> Savage Malfoy returns, mate. No, it's true, though. It's fucking weird. He's, he's a weirdo. There's no other way. Like, lady, you got to stop this. Yeah. But, but do you tell the boyfriend? Like, because oh, yeah, no, she's like, into uh, yeah. Like, but say, how uh, do you say that? How do you kind of break th- that she, to Yeah, him? the problem she's got is that she's not finding this uncomfortable. She likes it. She's really loving it. This, and this is where I'm having a bit of an issue because I sort of relate to her. So whose mum do you fancy? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't. Well, I do. I mean, a lot of people's mums. But not uh, that of a girlfriend. But if I was in that she scenario and I found myself like, because obviously you know, I'm into cougars. I'm into milfs. I am. Yeah, wait. <laughs> what? Do we have to, can you tell us about that cougar and M&S? Cougar and... Yeah. yeah, you never said... Didn't you make it? Oh, trust thing? me, guys. She's inviting me. What? Blah, blah, blah. You really have hit me. So basically... Oh, yeah, you're drunk. You're, Theo's on the alcohol. I've had two beers. I'm fine. Lethargism. Anyways, <laughs> listen. Basically, I was in m and <laughs> I was in m and And I was in a vest. So I, I had the biceps out. The triangle came out. Yeah. <laughs> but basically, there was this woman who was a MILF. Very small. But... <laughs> Uh, she was sort of, I was looking for my groceries. She goes, uh, wait, what did she say to me? Because it was a couple of weeks ago now. She said something like, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, she said, do you, she literally was like, do you shop in here often? Classic. Like, you come here often? <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> you come here often? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you know what? Uh, she's like, oh yeah, we're just, we're just camping <laughs> down the road. <laughs> oh yeah, now. <laughs> Anyway, she was all right. She was all right, mate. She had massive boobs. <laughs> massive. And I... No, no, no. Wait, wait. Honestly, the face, was she okay or was it just the boobs you're attracted to? No, because I'm not a vile human being. <laughs> no, she was, she was nice. She was nice. She had a friendly face and I thought she was nice. And I was somewhat attracted to her. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, I... Uh, I'm just like, yeah, it's, it's quite expensive, isn't it? Because obviously M&S is quite expensive. And she's like, oh, yeah... Um, and then I go, who are you here with? <laughs> I actually, no, 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 I did. I said, I said, who are you here with? <laughs> <laughs> Is your heart racing at this point? It just was, <laughs> mate, the, the storyline started playing out. I was like, she's inviting this me. It. This is happening. My dreams are coming true. Literally. So I'm there. <laughs> uh, I'm just like, yeah, so who are you here with? And she goes, oh, just some mates. And I'm like, oh, and she goes, you got, do you live nearby? Do you have a house? And I was like, I was like, yeah, I actually do have a house down the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great idea to tell a stranger. No, nah, but I thought that she was. This was code for, you know. <laughs> anyways, so um, what's your BM? What's your postcode? <laughs> so, anyways, that's sort of how it went. And then next thing you know, walks around the corner, an elderly man. Well, not an eld- elderly man, but someone that looks like her age. I swear that was a, the husband. I, I genuinely, because he was looking me up as well a little bit. <laughs> I'll be serious. I think I think they were debating him taking me back and no, having orgy. Not only did the wife want me, the husband also wanted me. <laughs> I think that's a curse. <laughs> so from what's happened here on, yeah. the, on paper, yeah, uh, a middle-aged lady asked, "How are you?" and where I live, and if I'm nearby, and if and told me where she's camping, and that means and come join our no. orgy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does a little bit. Yeah, I because when you said it. I remember reading it because you're like, boys, boys, boys. A milf's just tried to get me back to her. She wanted an orgy. And I, so I was like, what the fuck? I was like, tell us the she story. Asked me, she asked me how I was. And he, he told it. And I was just like, well, that didn't happen then, did it? Like, <laughs> she didn't invite you back for an orgy. She didn't know she didn't invite me back. But I just, you know, when you get an inkling, <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's dead, whatever. I, I think at the end of the day, like, look. If that did happen, though, that would have been sick. 
Yeah. You should have done it. Would you have gone? If you if it came to the point where she asked the question. So that's actually a hard question, you know, because like you don't know what is going on in that campsite. They could have been plotting to kill you. That's the thing. I think at the same time, I would have got excited by the concept, but I probably wouldn't have gone. Do you reckon? I probably wouldn't have. You bought it. I probably would have, yeah, like safety first sort of thing, because like, who actually are you? Why are you? you know, is this weird. is this a decoy? Are you trying to just sort of like tempt me in? And then, the and, then and then I'm just going to get like murdered or something. Yeah, like realistically. Wait, how mad would it have been if like a week later, man, 24, murdered by a couple? Yeah. That's, ha- that's shit that's happened. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. And then it's it her face like plastered all over yeah, the like, news. Do you know what I mean? So I think at the end of the day, yeah. I did the right thing. Wait, there is something that I could could mention right now. Oh, no. is it gonna, who's it, who's it going to put in the shit? I am meeting up with Elliot this week. Oh, oh mad. Shit. Oh, because you were like, do you want to get some coffee? Yeah. We are, uh, yeah. He messaged me. What day? Don't know, but it was it was this this week, and basically, yeah, I think it'll be good. No cameras, nothing like that. Just going to have a chat. <laughs> Walks in vlogging today. I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I, I, I think that'll be good. I am quite excited for this because you did tell us that he messaged you, and I said, I, I was like, mate, definitely, yeah. like go meet him, hundred percent. And are you doing the right thing of doing it? Off everything. Yeah, this is how the majority of stuff on YouTube should be solved. Because there was yeah. there Off was camera. talks of should we get him on waffling, and like if that was your first encounter, yeah, I do really think that would have been a terrible setting. Yeah, I think I do think you two need to sit down, clear yeah. the air. Back to Starbucks we go. Are you going to Starbucks? You can't sit in though. Can you not? No, no. not at the moment. You can have to sit in your car. Shit, but yeah, like I think I think it'll be good. Like at the end of the day, I'm going to just see Wagwan. I mean, yeah. Not, like, is there a motive or anything? No, like, as in, like, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I've I've said that I hope I want to see if he's all right. I want to see what he's going like, going like. I want to see what he's doing in his yeah, life. Yeah, I want to see. I just want to. Um, there's a lot of unanswered questions. Quite interesting, actually. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's it's a sort of like what job? It's a scenario that so many people are so interested in, isn't it? It's like a fascinator. I myself am sort of like, what is the crack? Like, what is? What do is you know the what beef I mean? I've seen Joe rumors of like DJing. Like, get to the bottom of it. DJing? What? I thought he was DJing. Um, no, yeah, well, I, I don't know what he's doing in terms of that, like, oh. job or whatever. But, um, yeah, I think, imagine if, like, same day, back to the mental asylum. <laughs> no. No, no, but this is this is partly the reason that I think it is such a good idea that you should go meet him, try and clear the air. And, you know, if you, you get that, like, natural friendship back that you had, because you were friends, you were good friends. Yeah, yeah you were. There's no denying that. Yeah. And, like, you know, he's... Clearly, like, you've got good chemistry on camera. So if, and I'm not saying, obviously, meet up with him just to use him. But, like, you know, if you were <laughs> able to, like, clear the air and, yeah, get back to it. And he was like, oh, mate, I have got an idea if you want it, blah, blah, blah. Then, like, why, be why the should you? Thing, no, um, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it, like, like Theo said, like, if he rocks up with, like, a vlogging camera or something, then, yeah. But I think, you know, I don't see any problem with, you Big two mate. making videos again if that were possible. End of the day, at the end of the day, it's two humans that fell out and are going to try and see what see what Wagwan two years later, three years later. Yeah, it's, it's been a it's long, literally time. like three mate, years. It it quite possibly could be very awkward, but very necessary. It won't be awkward, will it not? I won't be awkward. Okay, and well, I'm not going to lie. If if you two weren't YouTubers, this beef would have been squashed. Like. In a week, in a normal friendship, Actually, yeah, a, like Luke's gone through beef and squashed it instantly. Didn't in a he? in a normal friendship, I think, as in like because it was in the public eye, everything was heightened. Had a, yeah, it had a magnifying glass on it. But do you know it, what I, mean? I don't. I, but I think it was less of a beef, more of a betrayal, which is slightly different to two, but, no, but two people. Uh, at the same, at the same time, remember, it was the thing of I was distant, distancing myself anyway. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I didn't like the person yeah. to come. Toxicity. Yeah, it was like toxic to be around for me. So the betrayal was the icing on the cake. Icing on the cake. But anyways, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't be around this. So yeah, it's good. It, uh, but we're not going to be able to hear. Wait, would you even want to talk about it? How what do you it mean? Because like you don't want it to. I know it's not going to come across this, but are you only meeting me so you could talk about this on waffling? See, our, see my point here. What, the deji approach? That's yeah. what he thinks. Yeah, what? Yeah. We, just using it for clout. Yeah. But no, really, we, we get it's views anyway. Yeah, we, we don't like, need anyone no. for views, mate. We're fucking smashing Lo- it. Logan Paul said that. Yeah. Don't need views. I'll get views. Yeah, exactly. So, 
at the end of the day, at the end, oh, we need to stop saying that. That's the new one. <laughs> we get more views than Deji on Waffling. Class. No need to bring Deji in. Yeah, no, 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 but he said that, didn't he? When on his, uh, when he had a go back to me, he was like, "You just want to get me on for views. We get more views than you, mate." <laughs> We don't need you for views. Oh, and no, it started again. Oh, no, no, but I just remember. Oh, yeah, no, I need to stop. I'm not trying to reignite that. I'm not trying to reignite that. But stating facts is. Just fair. stating facts. And But for us, though, because it's going to be awkward, because we will want to hear how it goes. I'll, I'll tell you how it goes. Okay, but then you would, would you save it for an episode? Would you want to talk about it? Like, yeah, we, can, we can talk Mate, about it. Mate, we talk it. off camera as well. Yeah. Like, we're not so, allowed. We're not allowed. Oh, yeah, we're not allowed. <laughs> but um, So, as, you know, as a fan of the show, and like you, could, like, would there be what, the possibility of a waffling episode where Elliot features? Do you think? Well, yeah, I think I think that could be useful in terms of, you know, he hasn't been he hasn't been on YouTube since that incident. Really, he tried to do a few things and then got bombarded he with did, snake he emojis. He made it worse. He made yeah. it worse. Yeah. But it I didn't also help that don't like that. that. I hate that. Like, he, all his videos were just dislike, dislike, dislike. But comment after comment, but that's the toxic culture of the it's internet. It's cancel like, culture, but he didn't help himself by uploading shite. Yeah, yeah, okay, but but he didn't he didn't kill Joe. No, he like didn't. they they had a fight, and th- that's that. Like people that's fall count, out all mate, the time. That's council culture. Look at James Charles and the Tatty beef. Do you yeah. remember that? Yeah, mate, mate, they lost like four million subs, and he was innocent. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. There is that. I think overall. We're starting it the same, the best way by yeah, just yeah. like meeting up privately. Hundred percent. Um, if something comes from it, if we if we want to do a waffling, if we want to do whatever, like I'm not shutting any doors yet. The key is not to force anything. You just see how it goes. Yeah. And go from there. Go of the flow. Yeah. Hit that flow state. I'm, yeah. Because obviously, like you say, the reason that you did fall out ultimately stemmed from the fact that you were sort of becoming this person you didn't want to be associated with. It would be weird if this whole thing hadn't humbled him i thought i i mean, i honestly i would have thought anyone going through what it's he's had him, what right? he's had to go through you would like you say be crushed your soul every time you go out in public everyone hates me like any any he doesn't post on social media he doesn't post anywhere because it's just bombarded with pure hate yeah. imagine like honestly I know, I know i know it's like to have hate but when, like, when all you're getting is hate. When all you're getting is hate. Yeah. And that is it. Like that, you know, you don't see him wearing the, the, the gold chains, the, the shades, the, the bowling it about it's like he's the, you know, you got very cocky. You don't see that anymore. I might have had to sell it as well. <laughs> <laughs> what? But yeah, anyways, like. <laughs> that was funny. It was, Come it on. was funny. It was. It was. It was only a joke. It's only a joke. Just banter. Just but. Banter. Yeah, so there's that. I, and obviously, we spoke about it in depth on the, the Jack Mate podcast. Yeah. yeah. Did you watch that? Huh? You didn't watch no, it? No, only because I've Luke been watching oh, yeah, it. No, I, no, it's my next podcast, but I've been addicted to Shoe Dog, so I, I can't. And Shoe Dog's 13 hours long. Yeah. But, like, as in, you know, like we were saving that whole, the whole Elliot conversation. Did it on there? I did it on his podcast. It's, mate, it's got like 600K views. We missed out. Should have yeah, done it on did. here. No shit, we missed out. But, do you know what? It's so it, natural. It was good to talk about it with. Someone like someone different because obviously you guys already know everything. He was like, whereas he was asking from the point of view of someone that truly doesn't know. So yeah. like, I think that's where talking about it. This we spoke about everything. Every time someone speaks to me about it, I just assume they know everything. Yeah, and like all the details that to us seem public knowledge, they don't know about. Yeah. I'm like, I swear this is all being put out there. No, we 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 basically but, know only. Only us, the, sort of. the inner circle. Yeah, we're the inner inner circle that sort of I was, like. I was adamant, adamant. Everyone knew the whole story. Yeah, I, I thought the whole thing. Well, was that story that I explained on, like, on Jack, mate, with how we fell out. Like, what, like a lot of people don't don't know why me and Elliot fell out. Like, I, like genuinely, like most people didn't know until I did that Jack, mate, podcast where I said about it all. So we're gonna take the hit and say right now. You want to find out what happened between Joe and Elliot? No. No? No, no, no. no. Do it after this because we've still got some good, really in- interesting things coming oh, up. Yeah, I was going to say, don't go now. But so after... much content coming up. Yeah. <laughs> but after, go and check that out on Jack Mate's thing. Listen to the whole thing because it was like, it was decent. It was very different to Waffling. I'll go watch it as well. But it was good. Yeah, you need to actually watch it. Um, 
But anyways, right, I know this has been pure sex questions, this whole podcast, but that's what's on the sheet. So that let's clip, just go with another that one. That will do well on the Clips channel. Ready? I will. Making a living from porn. Oh. All right, fellas. Me and the girlfriend have been making amateur porn since February, and we have made $800 Ooh. so far. At Wait. first, we were a bit scared and worried people might recognize us, but now, mostly people don't give a fuck, and we love it. What are your thoughts on this? Is it a good idea and worth the risk of being spotted by someone else? If you don't care, it is what it is. But that's going to live on the internet forever. Including when they have children. When you have children, all that, you know, who came out? Uh, Mia Khalifa, wasn't it? Literally saying that she regrets doing she, porn. She she only did it for three months. Mate. Yeah. Made 12. Wait, because there's a big conspiracy thing about this Mia Khalifa thing. That is it. Don't chat shit about my girl. No, 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 no. I'm not. I <laughs> I don't know the ins and outs, but I read a was it Bang Bros that she had the. Her the like issue kid? is is that she only did it for three months. The problem but is apparently she didn't. The problem is she doesn't have a problem with people re-uploading problem. old. St- a problem <laughs> with people re-uploading old stuff is when Bang Bros pretend it's new stuff and they're just recycling so it. So people still think she's still involved. But that's not her problem. Her problem is the fact that now she, no one ever has a good first impression of her. They all just think that she's just this porn star. Like, she hates not having that, what a what normal person would have when they meet someone new. It's, it's, it's baggage Instant that... judgment. Yeah, it's baggage it, that she has it, with her for life. It is tricky, though, because whether you did porn for 10 years or 10 minutes, like... If there's a video out there, like people do judge a book by its cover. Well, mate, it's cover. fucking human nature. You know like I mean? you can't say don't judge a book by its cover. It's literally how we're fucking designed. The first you, thing you judge, you, judge you you it's literally as the self preservation mechanism of you take the information you're given and you make a judgment so that you're prepared for that person. But the key thing is to not act in a way of judgment. Yeah, you have well to act the, in well, a the way thing of an is open book. Yeah, I'm well, not yeah. saying it's right. But I'm saying everyone does it. That is just human nature. So if, you know, like I say, if she did it for 10 years or 10 minutes, at the point of making the decision to do it, well, whether she did it for 10 minutes or 10 years, it's still that decision. It all boiled down to the decision of, yeah, I'm going to do it. So what's your point in terms of like... Yeah. As in like her her thing of like, oh, you know, people are judging me based on like three months of my life. Which it's it's unfair. It is, but you know that that's what she's known for. She's known for that three months. People are going to judge her for that. That's so why she's famous. Yeah. The bottom line is the what these people are doing. You've been doing porn since February. This is probably going to stick with you for life. The issue these guys have is like, I don't want to be harsh or anything, but eight hundred quid in almost six months. Yeah. Does that seem? It means it's snowball Pliable. They got it could be a snowball effect. Small. They could do that. But it just seems like a lot of work, not enough of re- reward. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, I feel like most people that get into sort of any form of porn when they're young have some sort of regret when they're older. I have no experience to say whether that's true, but I just, to hazard a guess, my judgment from what I've sort of like seen, I would have thought that that's the case. But at the same time, who's to say... They don't just do it for fun. And they like, enjoy it, living in I the think moment. If you want to do it, do it. Be careful. You might regret it. But yeah. you know, I think yeah. Like Live in the we're, moment. We're, we're in a, we're in a time now where you can do whatever the fuck you want, and most Bored. people just accept it. Borderline. Yeah. But it's whether you can deal with yourself in a in a later stage. Like you, ten years down the line, might not accept that. Dealing with your consequences of your past. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Anyways, right. What else are we? We're fucking pushing it now, aren't we? Really, yeah, we, can, we can wrap up. Well. He needs yeah. to go. All right, then we're gonna wrap up here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. We're gonna be back in September with a bang, yep. whole load of fresh stories to talk about. Not gonna lie, we are pretty exhausted in terms of we've spoken about everything. So I think this break is necessary just to sort of, you know. Get don't that don't forget about us. Yeah, don't forget. That's the thing. We've Please. Built up, we're, our views are now like 300k per, per podcast, and we'd love to keep it at that. We're going to be so, active on the Instagram. Yeah, we're going to be active on the Instagram, at Wafflin Podcast. So please just like, don't forget about Please us. Please don't. Like, <laughs> hey, if you've made it this far into the pod, comment. We'll never forget you, boys. See you soon. Yeah. Like, please do that. And then also, um, what is... Uh, let me think. Anything else? 
No, I think that's it. Genuinely. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this TV show. I fucking hope. No, I'm going to get. I'm going to do it. Get laid. Huh? I'm going to <laughs> achieve and do it for the Waffling Mafia. <laughs> and I can't wait for you to see it. I think it's going to be out at Christmas. That's the only thing. It's going to be quite a while. But um, yeah, until next time. Love you guys. Leave a, leave a like, rate in, subscribe, and peace. Goodbye.